Welcome to free math. In this video, we have got these uh, four identical uh, blue circles uh, fully inscribed in a big uh, circle as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, the area of this uh, blue shaded region is uh, 100 pi square units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded uh, region uh, combined all of this uh, yellow shaded area please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step let's make an observation we can see that this uh, yellow shaded region area is uh, equal to the area of this uh, big uh, circle minus uh, the area of this uh, blue shaded region as you can see in this uh, equation and now we can see we have been given the area of the blue shaded region as 100 pi. And now our only task is to calculate the area of this big circle. Let me go ahead and call this as our equation number one. And now we know that the area of this blue shaded region is 100 pi. And we also know that this blue region consists of uh, four identical uh, blue circles and if we divide uh, both uh, sides by four so therefore we conclude that the area of this uh, each uh, blue circle is going to be 25 uh, pi and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equals to pi r square where r is the radius uh, of this uh, blue circle let me go ahead and tweak this uh, right hand side. This could be written as uh, pi times uh, 25 could be written as uh, 5 uh, square. So therefore the radius uh, of this uh, blue circle turns out to be 5. Let me go ahead and label uh, this uh, radius of this uh, small uh, blue circle by lowercase r and it's going to be equal to 5. And here's our next step. Let's focus uh, on this uh, diameter of this uh, big uh, circle. We know that this is the radius uh, of this uh, blue circle, which is uh, 5. Likewise, this is the radius uh, of this uh, blue circle as well, which is uh, 5 again. And now our only task is uh, to calculate uh, this uh, distance uh, BD in order to calculate uh, the diameter. And here's our next step. We have connected uh, these uh, centers B, C, and uh, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And as a result, we got this uh, right triangle uh, B, C, D. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, right triangle B, C, D. We know that this is the radius uh, of this uh, blue circle, which is five. Likewise, this is uh, radius as well which is 5 once again so this uh, whole uh, distance uh, BC is going to be 10 and likewise uh, this uh, side length uh, CD is going to be 10 uh, as well and now we are going to use the Pythagorean uh, theorem in order to calculate uh, this uh, hypotenuse uh, BD and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call uh, this side length uh, a, this side length uh, lowercase b, and this uh, longest leg uh, has our side uh, c. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. a in our case is 10, so this is going to become uh, 10 square. b is once again 10, so this is going to be 10 square equal to c square so therefore c square is going to become 100 plus 100 is going to give us 200 let's go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root on both sides so on the left hand side we got c equals to and now let's focus on the right hand side the square root of 200 i have copied it down and if we simplify this one we can see it can be written as uh, 10 times uh, square root of 2. So therefore, uh, I can replace this uh, right hand side by this uh, simplified form, which is uh, 10 uh, times uh, square root of uh, 
to so thus our side length c turns out to be 10 times square root of 2 and now we know that this side length c is the same as this distance bd which is 10 times square root of 2 and now let's focus on this diameter and this diameter of big circle is equal to the sum of this radius of blue circle which is 5 and this uh, distance uh, BD which is uh, 10 times uh, square root of 2 and then uh, this uh, radius of blue circle which is 5 uh, once again. So therefore the diameter of this uh, big circle could be written as uh, I can add all these uh, values 5 plus uh, 10 times uh, square root of 2 plus 5 uh, once uh, again. Let's go ahead and combine the like terms and here we can factor out uh, 10. So this could be written as uh, 10 times uh, 1 plus uh, square root of uh, 2. So therefore the radius uh, of this uh, big circle is going to be equal to this uh, diameter divided by 2. Let me go ahead and write down 10 times 1 plus uh, square root of 2 all over 2. And now we can see 2 goes into 10 uh, 5 times. So therefore our radius uh, of this big circle turns out to be 5 times 1 plus uh, square root of 2. Let me go ahead and represent uh, this uh, radius of big circle uh, by uppercase uh, r. So thus the radius of this uh, big circle uh, turns out to be 5 times uh, 1 plus square root of 2. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, big circle now. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula once again, pi r square. And in our case, the radius uh, of this big circle is uh, 5 times uh, 1 plus square root of 2. So therefore, the big circle area is going to be pi times, uh, I'm going to put in a bracket, uh, 5 uh, times uh, 1 plus uh, square root of 2 whole square and this could be written as pi times in the bracket 5 square is going to be 25 times I can write 1 plus square root of 2 whole square and then bracket close and now let's focus on this part and here I have copied it down 1 plus square root of 2 whole square and now let's recall uh, this uh, famous identity a plus b square could be written as uh, a square plus b square plus uh, 2ab. We are going to apply this identity over here. So therefore this could be written as uh, 1 square is same as 1 plus uh, square root of 2 whole square plus uh, 2 times 1 times uh, square root of uh, 2. And here the square of square root uh, could be written as just simply 2 and then this simplified as uh, 2 times square root of 2. And if we combine these like terms uh, we got 3 plus uh, 2 times square root of 2. So therefore I'm going to replace this uh, 1 plus uh, square root of 2 whole square by this uh, 3 plus 2 times uh, square root of 2. So therefore this could be written as uh, pi times uh, 25 and then times uh, 3 plus uh, 2 times the uh, square root of uh, 2. Now let's go ahead and uh, distribute this uh, 25 as you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's go ahead and distribute uh, this pi once again as you can see in this uh, next step. So thus the big circle area turns out to be 75 pi plus uh, 50 times square root of 2 times pi and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded region now let's recall uh, this uh, equation one and here i have copied it down our equation one and now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks we know the big uh, circle area we already figured it out over here and our blue area is uh, 100 pi so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so the yellow region area is going to be 75 pi plus 50 times the square root of 2 times pi minus 100 
pi. And in this and next step, I have combined these uh, like terms as you can see over here. Now let's go ahead and factor out uh, 25 pi from both sides, as you can see in this uh, next step. So thus our yellow region area turns out to be 25 pi times 2 times square root of 2 minus 1. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.